hello everyone today i would like to show you how to interface the rfid module with arduino i'm going to be using the mfrc 522 rfid module which is a, a simple rather not very expensive module and which is very common in very many arduino projects involving rfid the module simply contains two components it contains a reader and two tags the reader let's have a closer look at it this is the reader it contains an antenna a radio frequency module and a control unit for transmitting and receiving signals so you can even call it a transceiver then we also have two tags here this is a key holder tag and then we have another flat tag here these these tags contain a chip for storing information and they can store up to one kilobyte of data it's not very big but it's enough for storing simple information like maybe names id and something like that and it has an antenna for receiving and also transmitting data and generally these tags are passive devices in other words they don't have batteries so generally that is our simple RFID module so before you can be able to use these modules with Arduino we need to first know the information inside these tags so we are going to be connecting it to the Arduino and then we shall be able to read the information inside these tags and that information especially the unique identification number inside the tag is very important when you are going to be applying that in the different projects that you are going to be doing so you connect the reader to the Arduino according to the schematic that is shown above there you can make reference it's just straightforward then from there you can be able to look at the simple program that you're going to be using to read the information from the tags that one you're going to be using an inbuilt Arduino program which you're going to first get from the MRF RC522 library so before you proceed you first check whether you have that library in your Arduino IDE so in this case i'm going to check mine go to sketch go to include libraries then manage libraries click and this is going to show you all the libraries that are included in your Arduino ide so to be to move faster you just come here and filter for research and you type the library that you want to check for you can just put the mfr then it's going to show you all the libraries so you see we have mfrc 630 rfid so the one i want is mfrc 522 by github so this one i've already installed that's why you see it is here so i don't need to do any uh, installation but if you don't have this library you can go and install it from github or you can even install it from here I think the new versions of the Arduino IDE have this library by default. So you can install it from here. Like in this case, you just come. If it is not yet installed, you just come here, click install, it is installed. But me it's already installed, so I don't need to do anything else. After that, we go to file, we go to examples, look for M mfrc522 then you go to dump info this is the one we are going to be using to display our uid or the card we are going to, the tag we are going to be using so just click on that and it's going to open a new window so this dump info window is going to be used to display the uid of our tag so in this case the connections for the Arduino board and the reader have already been given here. So you connect according to the type of Arduino board that you are using. For me, I'm using the Arduino Uno, so I'm be connecting using these connections here. Then from there, it's simply after connecting your board, you just upload this program to the board, and then you open the serial monitor. So I'm going to upload my code. So the upload is finished. Then from there. I'm going to be able to open the serial monitor. So I've made the serial monitor. 
So from the CEO module, you can be able to see the firmware version. And then from here, they ask you to scan. Yeah, so if I bring the first tag, this white one, and I put close up the reader. So you observe a lot of information moving by. So from this information, you can be able to locate our UID, the card UID, this one, F57EC9EF. And then this other one gives you the memory of the card. But in this case, you are mainly interested in the UID. So I can even try another one. I have this key holder tag. So if I put it here, you see, it also gives me this information. Then I can be able to check its UID, which is FB489B15. So I've been able to get the UIDs of these two tags. So you now got all the UIDs of these two tags, this key holder tag and this other one. So from there, you can be able to use that information in some very important applications, as you're going to be seeing in my other tutorials.